We've acquired the EEG data now, and uh, now we're going to show several ways to review it and to analyze it and to make a report. It's first of all possible to view the EEG using the built-in EDF browser that's provided with the Discovery software. Uh, when you've done your acquisition, uh, let's recall we're using a trainee ID of TV111. So we've got the name uh, coded there. The trainee's name, in this case we use the words training video. We recall who our uh, client was. And the comment here says discovery, test, pause and unpause. And it's telling us that the next session number is number three. We've run two sessions. We ran an eyes closed session for two two minute recordings. And we ran an eyes open session for two minutes of recording. So we're going to review those. All we do is press the button that says EDF browser. And now the EDF browser comes up. EDF stands for European Data Format, and that's the format that we use for the files that are written to the disk. Okay, so in EDF Browser, we use File, Open, off the menu, because we want to open a file. So we click on that. This gives us the selection box. We can use this navigation bar to find our directory, and in this case, it's brainm.20, studies D, TV111. All of your discovery data will always be in brainm.20, studies D, and then a subdirectory using the name that you typed in as the file ID. So we simply click on this, and now we see our three records. We have session one, run number one, that's 001.01, .01, eyes closed. Then we have session one, run number two, 01001.02, .02, again, eyes closed. And finally, we have session two, 02.001.01, .01, eyes open. So first we want to look at one of the eyes closed recordings. So we're going to click on the second of the two minutes and hit open. And EDF browser has now opened the file and expanded the header and you can see that it has all of the channel information loaded in. If there were a problem with the file, at this time EDF browser would issue some sort of a warning or uh, error box, but we're all good here. We don't have to do anything with this add, subtract, remove channels. This is if you want to do something special. We just go down to add signals right here on the bottom. And that's the only thing we need to do on this control panel is hit add signals. And now we see EDF browser is showing us the EEG data that we recorded. It's got all of the traces on the screen as recorded. Uh, you can see the various activity, alpha activity, high frequency activity. Uh, you can see a little bit of excess delta here going on. And in EDF browser it's possible to go forward and page through the file and look at it inspect it. This is sufficient for you to make sure that the recordings are good. Uh, you can see changes when they occur, changes in state, alpha coming and going, for example. And this looks like a good recording. EDF browser does not have a lot of other functionality. It has some simple functions, a cursor uh, and the ability to expand, for example. Um, if I wanted to, I could, for example, zoom into this area and take a closer look at it. Uh, I can also do zoom back, zoom forward. So EDF browser has some nice features, but it's fairly simple, but it's definitely good enough to determine that the recording uh, is sufficiently clean and um, good to use. Okay, now that we've reviewed the data using EDF browser and made sure that it looks clean, uh, we can proceed to do a more uh, detailed report and in this case, we're going to use NeuroGuide as the software we use to read in the EEG and analyze it and make a report. We've gotten to the point now where we can get away from the discovery software. So I'm just going to cancel it out on the screen.